Oh, this headset we're gonna talk about today is a good one, and we're gonna give one away. In your box, you're gonna get your paperwork, you'll get your dongle right here, we'll talk a lot about that, because yes, you can switch between all consoles, and then you get your detachable USB-C charging cable. Yes, you did just hear me right. You can use this headset across every single gaming platform, all wirelessly with that one dongle. But you all know where we have to start before we get into any of that stuff, we have to talk about comfort, right? You know what? Hold on. You all know I'm a red fan, right? Red, black, and white. Not really a blue fan, but holy smokes, this headset is absolutely gorgeous. So you got like that dark blue right there, and then the bronze Turtle Beach logo, even up into the uh, headband, and then the little trim around there. But the cool thing is they went the extra mile. If we flip these inside out, you can see inside the drivers, they actually went the bronze inside there. Yo, this combination is absolutely gorgeous. All right, all right, so I gotta calm down my inner nerd, right? I'm getting excited about these features and the looks right here. But of course, no matter how cool any of that is, how great it's or how great of a deal it is, you all know where we have to start over here on the Techni, right? That is with comfort. And taking a look at the headset, as far as adjustment, full swivel all the way flat, a little bit inside, ear cups go in and out. So again, you got all sorts of movement for any head shape right there. As far as adjustment on a headband, it pulls out, goes in, and as you can hear, it's very clicky and it really holds its position. So again, if you got a big head, I think you're gonna be fine. If you got a small head, again, I think you're gonna be fine right there. Total adjustment on here. I think it's gonna fit a lot of head shapes. Now taking a look at these ear pads right here. These are some sweet ear pads. Taking a look at measurements, I want you to look at the inner dimensions. Now they are a little weird. They go right there and then they kind of swoop up. But again, you look at those measurements as far as width and the depth, plenty fine. You're not touching the inside of drivers. I mean, you gotta have some really pointy ears to be touching the inside of these guys. They are super deep. Now these ear pads, as you see on the outside, pleather on the inside and the top. It's a silky sports material, kind of what you see on like a spandex or something like that really nice they got the cooling gel in there and kind of memory foamish super nice ear pads you can take them off as far as interchanging them i think they're going to be kind of tough because again they're around this little plastic bracket there and you also do have that eyeglasses adjustment where you can pull it and then it pulls it a little bit tight right there me personally i never use that and i wear glasses all the time now as far as the headband up here it is fully pleather and plenty plush going all the way around end to end and as far as weight we are going to get 380 grams so when we compile all that together as far as the comfort right there yo these things are super stinking cozy. You put them on your head and they just like sink into there. Again, they got like that medium clamping force. I'm not getting any pressure points anywhere because again, it's going to mold to any head shape with all that adjustment. And these ear pads, with the combination of the adjustment and the ear pads, the cooling gel, the fabric right there, no friction. Yo, for long game sessions, these things hands down get that stinking cozy badge. So how about the build of this headset? As you've seen through this video, yeah, a lot of this headset is plastic. Taking a look at it right here, your ear cups are plastic going right up into your arms and the headband housing is plastic. Now coming up to your adjustable arm, it is metal right in there, metal reinforced. Whenever you get in that movement, you got that backbone. Now as we saw in the 600 Gen 2 Pro Max, if you haven't watched that one, go check out that one as well. But this plastic is very durable. Same kind we saw over there, very premium. And again, it doesn't feel chintzy. It feels like you have a really solid premium product in your hand. And again, whenever I stretch it out, I mean, no one's gonna be stretching it out this far. You all know I stretch my products so I can test a weak point. I'd rather break my product than you guys breaking yours. But again, I feel like I got a really solid product in my hands here. Now, one little nitpicky side point on the build as far as the plastic, as you see over here on the ear cup, it's kind of like, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to say glossy because it's not really glossy, but it's not like this flattened match, you know what I mean? Anyways, it doesn't show fingerprints at all. But when you come up to the headband up here, it is a flat matte blue and it shows those sweat and grease marks as you can see right there. Now, is that nitpicky? I don't know. But again, it just kind of, I grab my headset from up there and it always shows those fingerprints prints and sweat marks. I wish they used the same plastic on the ear cup up here on the headband. But again, I really think they use that different plastic on the headband because it twists up perfectly fine. It's not as really kind of solid and full as that there. It's just a more flexible plastic. Features and functions on this headset. And there is a lot right here. As you see, detachable USB-C cable, which you get up to 40 hours on this headset. You have your wireless dongle, which you have Xbox, and USB mode, and that's how you're gonna switch it over to work on every other platform, your PC, your Xbox, your PS5, your Nintendo Switch, whatever. You just switch that over, and it's gonna work on all of them. Now, as far as controls on the headset, as you see, they are all on the back left ear cup. You have your volume control right here, tops out at the highest, bottoms out at the lowest right there, and you get tones whenever you top these out as well. Now you got your chat, your voice to chat dial right here, which also, again, this one's fully rolling. It doesn't bottom out, but you do get a tone in the headset whenever it's topped out. 
Now you have your mode button right here, which you're going to be able to control that to what you want, which I'll show you in a second. You have your power button, you have your Bluetooth button, indicator light, USB-C port, and then your flip down microphone, which can also be moved in and out. And then of course, the last feature and function on this headset is the microphone, which is exactly what you're hearing right now. Again, it's flipped down and you can also tilt it in and out a little bit. This is out right now. Now we have it tilted in, see if it sounds a little bit different. And again, it's flip up to mute flip down to active and it's really cool because whenever it flips up you actually get a tone and you flip it down it goes active right there but I love how it really kind of blends into the headset it's not this big bulky thing out there you can control this headset by the Turtle Beach app right here right and when you sign in it gets all of this stuff you're superhuman here and all your controls you can control right on your headset chat boost your presets which you can get in here and dub dabble with which we'll talk about more in the sound but anyway sliding over here you have all your other stuff where you can set those buttons to what you want you also have your noise gate your modes your tone levels and then of course all your settings of the headset now the weird thing if you're pairing up this headset for me right you're going to sync it up and you're going to get into the bluetooth mode it's going to say bluetooth on but it's not going to pair to your phone. It's not going to show in your Bluetooth settings. Make sure you hold that Bluetooth button down until it says Bluetooth pairing mode. Not when it says Bluetooth on, because it was messing with me. I'm like, yo, what's going on here? I got my other phone. I'm trying to do that. I'm messing with my Mac. I'm like, what's going on? But again, hold it down and pair it up. Because even when it says Bluetooth on, it's going to pair up to the app on your phone. And it's going to show the Turtle Beach headset in Bluetooth but it's not going to say connected. It'll show it there. It's the weirdest thing ever, guys. It was incredibly strange. All right, and rolling right off features and functions, I want to talk about the sound. I'm going to talk a lot more about those features and functions we were talking about sound as far as using Bluetooth and audio and game and all that stuff, phone calls together. I want to kind of talk about that more into the sound department. But as far as the core sound of these guys using 50 millimeter drivers, a free range of 20 to 22,000 right there. And the core sound of this is nice. It is fun. It is punchy. It's immersive. As far as detail, if you're playing a first person, really competitive, I don't want to say first person. I want to put it in a competitive. I don't think they really shine in that department right there because again, they were more immersive than anything. Even talking about going into the app where you can dabble with your EQ, not really an EQ. It's kind of like the vocal and all that stuff. You can pull those, which is your mids, highs, and your bass. You can pull those out to what you want. You got the presets in there. Turtle Beach Sound, the vocal boost, the treble boost, the bass boost, or of course your own. And again, you can pull it out a little bit, but still, as far as the detail, it's it's hard. It's, it's really hard, guys. Stick with me, okay? Because let me, let me put it this way. I'm playing Horizon of Forbidden West, one of my primary games I'm playing right now. Yo, the environment, the music, the, the everything, the dialogue was great. It was crisp. It's exactly what I wanted to hear in that game. Pulling the bow back, hitting the pieces off the bots, it was perfect. So you're kind of like, yo, technically you're saying it's got all this detail and everything, which it did. But again, when I got into a competitive game, like a serious competitive game or whatever, I still heard footsteps. But when there was a lot of action going on and it was a, you got a jumble, it, I kind of lost some, right? I, I was kind of like, all right, that's all I'm focusing on right now. You know what I mean? Uh, again, because the back end bass really kind of came up into there. It kind of lost some of the other environment, not the environment, but the footsteps, the reloads and stuff like that, if you're with me right there. So I think it's good for first person shooters and stuff because, again, you feel like you're in the game. But as far as that competitive detail, that's one little thing it was missing. But again, it's so weird to say that because when you got into a story game, it was incredibly crisp and detailed as far as the environment and everything, but it, it was full. It was immersive, and that's where I'd put it. I'd put it at that full immersive sound right there. Now, like I stated, you can also go into the app and dabble with your settings right here. And, and you do have that superhuman here, and if you kind of, you all know I'm not a fan of sound morphing things like superhuman here or 7.1. I feel like it just pulls out too many highs and drops the immersion. So I guess if you want some more of that detail for an FPS competitive game, you could use that, but again, you're gonna lose all of your immersion, and me personally, it's not my opinion. Anyways, you can dive into here, and again, you have all your presets, and you can go over here and hold this down, or is it swipe, and yeah, swipe it, and click the little pen, and you can dabble with it. As you see, I got my treble cranked all the way up, over here, my bass kind of a little bit above mid, and then my mids up here, kind of a little bit above the bass. Now, you can pull that down a little bit if you want, but again, it just kind of becomes, I don't want to say flat, but 
uh, it's just not as fun. I want a little bit of everything, and I feel like with this setting right here, it was a pretty awesome setting. So give this a shot and see what you think. So hopefully I didn't confuse you guys too much in that sound, because even me talking about it, you all know I don't script, right? I just talk off my mind. I use the product, and then I talk about it using it. And, and that's the best way I can word it out there. It was such a fun headset. I never once said, ah, I can't use this for this game, or ah, I can't use it for that. It was, again, that sound right here that you want. It didn't have more of this. It didn't have more of that. It was right here, and it did that. And it was really good for, again, any game, but it, Again, if you're playing competitive, God, I forget it, man. I can't, I don't know where I'm going. Hopefully you guys can stick with me there. One other thing I want to talk about here. I need another hat. Hold on. I got another one over here. There we go. This one's just got a red bill right here, right? So we talked about those features and functions with those wheels and then the mode buttons and everything, right? It's cool. You can come into the app here and actually set it to what you want. So for example, the chat wheel over here, I set to my Bluetooth volume. I've been playing a lot of Ride 4, the motorcycle game. And again, I don't like the background music. I like my music. So I can just set that right there, bam, dabble with that. And then you can also set your mode button over here. I got mine set to game preset. So I can cycle through my base mode, my custom EQ or anything like that. Really cool to really be able to make the headset yours. What do you want these buttons to do? Get an app and make it what you want it to do. One other thing I want to talk about in the sound is getting phone calls. Because you're using Bluetooth, yes, you can have your music on it, you can get a phone call. When you get a phone call and you answer, which you can do by the buttons, by the way, you pick it up. It's cool because you'll get your phone call in here, but you still get your game volume. And again, if you set it up like I had right there, you can control them all like that. And it's really cool. The game's not blasting in your headset. You can still hear your phone call. My wife, when I was testing on there she said I sounded crystal clear perfect right there you know what I mean it was really cool to again be able to control it like that yeah I still heard my game I didn't lose all that and I'm just getting my phone call and I was talking with her and I was, I was just I was still in my game and still in my phone call again still begin some of a lot of headsets they'll cut off the game audio completely and you'll just get your phone call again the options to set it up how you want mm, I love it be honest with me if you stuck to this point of the video did I lose you did I lose you through a lot of my rambles right there or are you one of those people that just skipped to this point at the end to see how to enter the giveaway well you you know technically does that quiz so you're gonna have to answer the quiz throughout this video to actually be able to win and we're gonna talk about the giveaway here in a second but anyways close it out the 700 Gen 2 Max, coming in at 200 bucks. If you stuck to this video again, I stinking love it. You know, I, I, just from the aesthetics, first off, yo, this headset is so gorgeous. So anyways, as far as this headset, coming in at 200 bucks, packing what it's packing, comfort, build, style, features and functions, easy, hands down win right here. For 200 bucks, I stinking love it. Use it on every platform right there, total win right here. All right, so how about that giveaway, which I know a lot of you are curious about. And if you're one of those people that skipped right from the beginning where I said, we're going to do a giveaway back here to see how to enter and then you can leave. Well, don't forget you're not going to win because like I mentioned, you're going to have that technique quiz right there. So how to enter? Well, number one, watch the video. Number two, make sure you're a subscriber. Number three, go to Twitter and follow the Techni and Turtle Beach over there. Now this giveaway is going to be for US shipping only. Unfortunately, it's going to be shipped directly from Turtle Beach as far as which color. I don't know if it's going to be the black or the blue one, hopefully Turtle Beach, hopefully you send these folks the blue one, because this thing is stinking awesome. The giveaway is going to last for one week, and I will list it on my YouTube channel in the community tab. So again, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you have notifications on, because if your name gets picked, that's how you're going to get the notification from the community tab, from the notification on right there. And that winner is only going to have 24 hours to pick or to acclaim, and then we'll go on to the next winner. So again, subscribe, notifications, so you can claim right there. And how we're gonna pick the winner is in the comments down below. What I want you to comment, I want it to be something fun, not, a, not just a boring giveaway, right? I wanna hear about a story, just a short little story, it can be a sentence, a few words, whatever. Create me a story of a turtle on a beach. I don't know, come up with something, and that's how we'll pick the giveaway. And again, this is gonna end in one week. Good luck.